much of the world still pretty much on lockdown, many of us are getting very acquainted with working from home. And by acquainted, I mean many of us are getting pretty sick of it. It seems like at this point, most office spaces won't be open for quite a long time, but there is one office space I found in Hollywood that's doing things pretty differently that has allowed it to actually stay open. I've spent a lot of time working from home and I've worked out of a pretty traditional co-working space and I wanted to show how it compared to this new co-working space that just might be the future of office spaces. This is Second Home, the co-working space that we're gonna be taking a look at today. Even from the sky, you can see that it's totally different from any other co-working space. They've repurposed this historic building and added thousands of plants and pod offices to really bring the outdoors inside. So let's take a look inside what might be the future of office spaces. So this is the entrance area. Right now you can't hang out in here, it's all closed down, but they have this lending library. So if you're a member, you can just check out a book, bring it back. This entryway really gives you an idea of what this place is all about. It's cozy with the accent lighting, but they also mix in a lot of natural light. You won't really find overhead fluorescent lights here, which I personally love. And they actually do have a really interesting selection of books. This is the reception. Down this way is to the upstairs, and then over here is a restaurant. You'll often see at the most modern office spaces like Google and Facebook, there's always somewhere to grab food. If you have to leave somewhere to go get food, you can really waste a lot of time. So this area is normally a restaurant. Right now it is closed, but normally you could eat here, which is really great. I've found that a lot of co-working spaces don't have any food options, which is just kind of ridiculous because you're gonna get hungry at some point. Even though you're inside, they really brought the outdoors in with the plants and with the skylights. So you really still kind of feel like you're outside even though you are technically inside. It's just a really nice feeling. It feels good in here. The architects have said the outside area was the main focus and the inside really took a back seat, but I still think the inside area looks up to par with the trendy restaurants you'd see in LA. Heading outside through these glass doors is where I've spent the most time here and this is the courtyard area. So this is the courtyard area. It's in between all of the buildings because duh, that's what a courtyard is, Shelby. <laughs> I found that the courtyard is kind of the central hub of the roaming co-working area. So if you don't have your own office pod, I feel like most people go here to get work done. This is my favorite place to go edit or kind of co-work around other people. Obviously right now it's just more spaced out and you wear your mask as you walk around, but they have these really great trees that provide a ton of shade. So you can actually see your laptop incredibly well even though you're outside they have this nice fountain in the middle and some music playing it's just a really pleasant area the vibe is amazing the architects told me when designing second home they had a focus on it being an enjoyable workspace so they included all these outdoor spaces ventilation stimulating colors and natural light now i know that sounds really obvious to design a space that's pleasant to be in but that's actually pretty different than the design goals of the past back in the 80s the main priority in designing the office was productivity so this resulted in cubicle farms and pretty uninspiring work environments. This study found that employees were the most dissatisfied when working in a cubicle in just about every aspect. But today in 2020, with so many people working for themselves, very few people are going to choose to work in that environment. <laughs> And even a pretty modern and considered nice co-working space that I've worked out of before, I found I, it just felt so inside that halfway through the day, I was just like dying to get outside. So that's really what Second Home is trying to get away from, especially with the next part we're gonna look at, the office pods. Before the pods were here, this was just a parking lot. With the weather being so ideal year round in LA, they saw this as the perfect opportunity to make an indoor outdoor office space. So after this major renovation, here's what it looks like. So the former parking lot is now dozens of pod offices in a maze of plants. So this is actually the densest urban forest in LA. Who would have thought it's in Hollywood? But they have over 6,000 different types of plants in here. It actually smells really good. It feels like a tropical vacation. Definitely not like an office. There's actually over two acres of this area, so you can kind of get lost in here, but if you just keep walking forward, eventually you'll get back to the main building. 
The actual pods are pretty much circles made of glass, so you have natural light coming in any time of day. You might think an all glass office sounds not super private, but the plants actually help with that a lot. So not only are the plants beautiful, but they're also practical. They add a bit of privacy to the pods while also allowing them to bring in a ton of light and they give a little shade so they do cool the pods down a little bit. Don't worry, they still have AC because it can get pretty hot in them, but it, it's kind of a natural cooling effect because it's not allowing the direct sunlight in quite as much. So this is the inside of one of the office pods. This one has eight chairs, so it's one of the smaller ones. They do have ones that are for teams of four people. You can get an individual pod, and then they have some that can fit 20 plus people. So they get pretty big. This is a small small to medium sized one. The pods start around 3,000 a month for the smaller ones and then obviously go up from there. I just think they are so unique. I've never seen any kind of office quite like this. I really love all the natural light streaming in. A study from Cornell found that improving natural light in offices led to an increase in health and well-being among workers and in turn led to more productivity. So it's not just a silly thing like, oh, natural light is so pretty, but it actually can legitimately improve your mood, your health, and your productivity activity and it just is really pretty and pleasant. This outdoor indoor office with the pods is another reason they've been able to stay open. People are still able to access individual office pods since there is an outdoor hallway. Walking through all the pods, you'll find another outdoor co-working area. This almost feels like a backyard. It has grass, a bunch of tables and chairs. It's really a better place to eat lunch or meet with someone than work on your laptop, but you still totally could. This is totally the kind of thing I would expect to see at a Google campus, but they've made this available to just the individual entrepreneur. I really love it because a lot of people, myself, live in apartments in LA, and so this feels like your very own backyard that you share with people, but it's really, it's really great. It's comfortable and it feels, it feels actually really homey. Just off the courtyard are some meeting rooms, which are pretty standard in any co-working space, but as you can see, these have way more natural light than most co-working spaces. This spot is probably the most similar to your typical office, just with a lot bolder of colors. Then of course they have free coffee and water. Now heading into the actual main building. The main building was actually built in the 60s by Paul Williams, who was a really famous architect at the time. So they wanted to keep this structure in place, but repurpose it and really make it usable as a co-working space. So right here are some meeting rooms. One thing you will notice about Second Home is that there are no straight lines other than the original building. So all the furniture, all the walls that they've added are curved, all of them. It's, it's pretty cool. So this is one of the indoor working areas. Anyone with a roaming membership can come here. It is really more like a traditional co-working area. One thing you'll notice, they don't have overhead lights, so you don't get that fluorescent lighting. They have nice soft accent lighting and then light coming in from the outside. So over here, you can really see some of the original historic parts of the building that they've kept. They kept a good amount of it, so they kept the staircase rather than putting a new one in. The city of LA has guidelines with historic buildings and they often recommend to keep the stairs. So it's really interesting to see how the old stairs blend in with the new design. Keeping with the theme of second home, they added a bright orange carpet up here. So these offices up here are as corporate as it gets for here. Here they have offices for smaller or medium sized companies. So the University of Texas actually did a study on how the color of an office affects workers. And they found that offices that are white or really bland actually induce feelings of sadness and depression. And this is anything but that. Orange is a color that's associated with being energetic and you really do get kind of a happy feeling up here. There's also a lot of windows. So even though this area is the most inside of Second Home, it's still bright and it still feels like an inspiring place to get some work done. is the rooftop deck. It's pretty massive. There's a lot of desks and room for probably 50 or more people to work up here. They also use it as an event space. Not lately because pandemic, 
but you can imagine after that, it's gonna be a pretty pop-in event space. And they also have a members happy hour on Thursdays, which is up here, free drinks, you know where to find me, that's all I'm saying. So that's the full look at the office of the future, at least for the next couple years, because this is kind of the only office that's able to stay open. Also, this wasn't a sponsored video or anything. When I was editing it, I felt like it started to seem like that because I was just hyping it so much, but I just thought this place was so interesting and different that I wanted to make a video about it. I've actually had my eye on this place for like eight months, and I didn't get a chance to check it out until recently. Originally, I wanted to try every co-working space in LA. They all pretty much shut down except for this one, so we just got this one. Let me know what you guys think of it. It actually inspired me to add more plants to my home office, but I actually have still been going there to get work done too. I just live kind of far from it, so I don't go every single day. Let me know what you thought of this place. I'm like dying to know what other people think of it because I think it's really cool. And yeah, that's gonna be it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!